Good morning, friends. It's the last day of my paternity leave, and we had plans to go to Grand Floridian Polynesian to just kind of peruse, walk around, enjoy it, but uh, Tropical Storm Ida has other plans. So right now, it's going to be another relaxing day at home watching some Christmas movies. Which, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Just it's cozy times. The sweetest little bean. Alrighty, friends, it's like 1.30 um, before we go out or um, we really get the vlog started. I did just want to tell you that we are seeing all of your comments on the videos and we're reading them and we appreciate them. Um, just right now I haven't set a, like, aside the time to respond, but I am hearting all of them. Um, but I just want to let you know that we see them and we are answering messages on Instagram. If, um, if you happen to reach out there, we would respond there. It's my last day of paternity leave. It is one of the few things that have, like, transitioned in my company's, like, structure is that they've been more accustomed and welcoming of remote work, um, some pieces of my company have gone back to the office, but majority are staying remote right now. Right. And so this is uh, one of those weird perks of the current times. Yeah. It's been a nice relaxing day, but we are about to get going on a little adventure that may end up getting very magical, if you know what I mean. Made some quinoa, heated up the last of our quick meal packets from Lauren. Um, this time we're doing it that's what we had with the potatoes the other day, but we're gonna pour it hot over the quinoa. Quick and easy, delicious little late lunch before we maybe even grab a magical bite to eat later, if you know what I mean. I'm getting very nervous. James, have some fun around. Did you like it? Um, he says it's okay. Nap time's better. He kind of woke up a little bit. He did. So we are headed into the Polynesian for Peter's last night of paternity leave. We decided that we would come here in Grand Floridian and do some strolling, relaxing, get some dinner, look at the castle. Yes. You know all the things. This is not what we just say. This is James' third resort he's been to. Yes, because we're not. Are we counting yacht club? We did stroll past it. I think we count it because it's all like one. Yeah. One thing. Right. So then fourth. So he's done boardwalk, beach club, yacht club, and now the poly. Oh. Oh, you know, just sitting on the shores of Seven Seas Lagoon while dad goes and gets us fancy drinks. Oh my word. I got a nojito. Got a shopping hopper. Wow, look at you all relaxed. I just posted on Instagram that we used the onesie that James is wearing in our our positive beta announcement for this pregnancy, and now he's wearing it. He is at the Grand Floridian, and look how cool his bass nut is. We were wondering, like, oh, what are we gonna do about getting him out, getting him over there? And I was like, wait a minute, I think I could just take the bass nut straight off yeah. the stroller. No, a disturbance necessary. Now he's still sleeping. get a little emotional just now. I turned around from setting up that time lapse and I just had this view. And maybe we'll put the photo in because it just it captures the moment better. But I was just like, I've literally yearned for this exact moment Thank you. for so long. Pretty Our great. hearts are so cold. Cookie. 
It's a Thanksgiving treat with buttercream inside. All right, somebody woke up and we ate as a family. He had, he had dinner. We had dinner from Gasparilla. It was really good. Really good. Um, he's a Florida boy. Out in the humidity, mm -hmm. chowing down on dinner. He did a great job. He did. Changed him a few times. Yeah. But we're rocking and rolling. <laughs> um, we did need to like get ourselves situated. I was honestly probably more flustered just yeah. getting getting myself situated, but then when we were going. There was a tag team. Sarah was holding him. I was feeding Sarah. We made it work. <laughs> he was, it was holding really the, um, the cover open so we could get a breeze. <laughs> yeah, we keep forgetting to bring our fans. We have two rechargeable fans. Um, and we keep forgetting to bring them. Yeah. He's here. So we told ourselves if everybody was up for it and we went really close to park clothes and everything seemed relaxed that we'd take a stroll down Main Street. So we are in Magic Kingdom. James is in Magic Kingdom. Oh gosh. A baby of ours is in Disney World. Well, this doesn't just melt your heart. Look at the castle. I mean, that's nice and everything. <laughs> But this, this is where it's at. Can you believe it? I can. Took many, many dreams, but I can. I will say, when we were walking on Main Street and I was holding him, he was a little fussy. We hit Main Street, his eyes saw all the Christmas lights, and he just went silent. And it was very, very cool. So here are some of the projections the castle has. There isn't a show or anything. But it is just nice to see the lights up there again. And on the side, so pretty. James is falling asleep. We're just relaxing in the cool breeze. Over off near Thanks Tomorrowland. Be right back. Everyone. Sorry for the interruption for a safety briefing. But this is why we wanted to come so close to park close. It's actually after park close. Because we have the, all this space to ourselves. I mean, there's a bunch of people over there leaving. But that's why we're right here. But that's why we're hanging out over here, just enjoying a little street atmosphere, a little holiday magic, a little castle decorations. Full belly. Full belly. Very sleepy face. <laughs> and he's going back in here. And now we gotta go home, James. Look at the. On, on the way out, I realized they had the toy soldiers out, and these were always reminding my college program, and always be one of my favorites. Our friends Matt and Dom were friends with these toy soldiers in the parade during our college program. So every time you look at the Christmas parade, think of our friends Matt and Dom. And look at this gorgeous tree. Look at the beautiful gifts and the little toy soldiers down there. Look at, oh, it doesn't get better. It really doesn't. I think this is the best tree in all of Disney World during the holidays. I think the the World Showcase one is a very, 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 very close second. And you might catch me on a random Tuesday saying the reverse. But I think in my heart of hearts, that's my favorite tree. Just like my heart of hearts, Wilderness Lodge is my favorite lobby and my favorite resort. But you guys know, I have the inner turmoil of is it Grand Floridian? Is it Boardwalk? Is it Wilderness Lodge? In my heart of hearts, it's Wilderness Lodge. How's my hair? Your hair is looking great. You're looking even more beautiful. And our baby is a rock star. True. Time to go home though, right? Yes. From all of us to all of you, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and good night. Oh. Sorry, it's been a little bit since we gave an update. We got home. I4 was a mess. Um, James did not like sitting on I4, but we got home safe and sound. Gave him a bath, gave him a little baby massage with some lotions and potions for himself. Sarah's feeding him now. I'm heating up a bottle of pumped milk. That's our little one-two punch that we've been doing at the end of the night. And I hope it continues to work out well, but Sarah feeds him. And then I come in there with a warm bottle of one to two ounces, depending on how much he's been eating that, he's eaten that day with his swaddle and outlet and everything on so that he's like literally ready to go. Give him that one to two ounces, hoping that it like really 
builds up his belly and gets him all cozy and tired, falls asleep, and then we put him in that bassinet and wait until the middle of the night when he wakes up. But it's uh, too late. Uh, really good day, really good last paternity day, both relaxing and exciting and just some milestones in my life that I've waited a very long time to do. I, we were walking back to our car and I was like, Sarah, can you believe that we are now leaving Magic Kingdom, walking to our car, pushing a stroller with one of our babies in it, after leaving the Magic Kingdom from their very first time in that park. So that, that meant a lot today. Um, anyway, we have to go, I have to, I'm working tomorrow and we have a doctor's appointment early in the morning, so we're gonna get, get, get to going. It's good to be home. Oh, wait, message. All right, November 12th, Thursday. Thursday, November 12th, today's message is by Carlos Castaneda. We either make ourselves miserable or we make ourselves happy. The work, the amount of work is the same. Ain't that the truth? It's good to be home. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.